Well, good evening, everyone. And again, my name is, is Eugene Per Year, and I've been in the district for 10 years. I'm a resident of Ward 8, and quite frankly, I'm running for, for office because in the 10 years I've been here, I've seen quite a bit of growth, but very little development. And I think we're at a, a tipping point, an inflection point in the District of Columbia. Either we're gonna keep moving the way we are, which is towards a, a strict playground for the rich, where everything downtown is just a glass box, or we're going to, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's let him talk, thank you. Go ahead, Eugene. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll probably get to that too. But uh, uh, ultimately, I guess I'll, I'll just wrap up by, by saying that what I really want to do, and I've fought a lot of tough social justice fights and I've been here, and I've seen how inadequate and unresponsive the council often is to those who are, who are lowest down on the totem pole. And I want to fight for them, the people who aren't represented at the Wilson Building right now, who aren't the big millionaires and the people who can throw campaign uh, galas and raise tens of thousands of dollars for candidates. And so my name again is Eugene Perrier. My website's eugeneperrier.com, and I look forward to having a discussion this evening. Hey, hey, hey. and you identify as a socialist. What would Eugene Perrier's socialist DC look like? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, it would look like one where instead of spending $150 million on soccer stadiums for billionaires, we would be able to put, take people off of grapes and put them in a place that they can live and all right. a homeless problem. Yes, sir. <laughs> It would be a place where we raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. I mean, I think it's very interesting that a lot, several people up here have said we got the minimum wage done. The minimum wage in D.C. is still a poverty Come wage. Come on! The reality wage is, the reality yes, sir. Is, is if it's less than $13, it's a poverty wage. Yes, so sir! Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just have to, to break from convention here. I mean, I'm the only person who lives up here in Ward 8, and I think that I, I deserve to have a say in this conversation, too, because, you know, it's not about beating candidates up. It's about coming up with real ideas, and we have to stop begging businesses to go east of the river because that yeah. encourages them to use the city government like an ATM machine while they take tax breaks and don't do what they All right. To do. I'll tell you what we need to do is we need some new ideas in the district, like a D.C. public bank. Take the $2 yeah. billion that we invest in Wall Street banks, bring it back home to partner with local small banks like industrial bank and credit union so they can leverage their capital to unleash entrepreneurship east of the river believe me they know how to hustle east of the river all they need is for people to believe in them and to put the resources behind yeah. them that allow them to succeed let's stop begging walmart and other companies that are just only going to pay poverty wages all right try to get our own people use our own people we're about to pass an urban farming bill in dc yeah five acres of land in marvin gate park that you could do so you could employ our own people in ward seven serve them food in ward Ward 7 and it would be healthy, which would have a helpful public health problem. We can do Thank these you. things, but we have to think outside of the corporate box. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need, we don't need, okay. we don't need to nationalize the banking system. Well, no. I mean, I, I don't believe that we should give Thank away our, our hard-fought tax dollars, hard-won tax dollars, yeah. with their own money. So, no. Thank you, sir. If it does move... Well, well, just to clear up any fears that you all may have, don't worry, I will be voting in the mayoral election. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I, 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 I'll probably end up writing someone in because... Uh, yeah! Yeah! Very good. We, we need something totally, totally, we need someone who's going to be so dedicated to social justice and your yeah. trends in this city, and I haven't yet seen that. Uh, and I'll certainly say, you know, the, the, the two candidates who are the, the front runners have, have been terrible, quite frankly, on many of the social justice issues that we all care about. Uh, but but I, I, will, I will say this in her favor as the Green Party candidate, only Carol Schwartz has brought up environmental issues. And I think until the candidates take more time, we're going to be on the Green Party and other things like that. I think. Yes, I will know Carol Schwartz.